bringing me down. Oh, 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 oh. Told you last time. Check out this cafeteria. There's a taco station and a rap station. Separate stations! Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Look at all these entomology courses. There's an entire class just on spider biology. I looked it up. It has six different textbooks. Oh, uh, mm, why not eight? Feels like a missed opportunity. Dude, I'm gonna be the spider queen. What about you, Fang? I think I'm more of a dragonfly wizard. Very cool. I mean, what about your applications? For college? I'm not applying anywhere. Do your parents know that? Because... The Battle of the Bands is my college application. We get that break, and we're set. And at least we know the show is actually gonna happen. What does that mean? Uh, not you too. I heard just this morning that even if it does hit, it'll probably land in the ocean. But just think about it. Us, being hit, smack on the nose, out of the huge vastness of the entire galaxy? It's a statistical anomaly. Yeah. Hope you're right. It's just science. Are you worried about it? The end of the world? Yeah, it's on my mind. Come on, why worry about it? Nothing we could do anyway. You two gotta chill about the space rock, okay? We're here to play, right? Uh, actually, we've gotta pick out what we wanna play first. Let's do it. Trish, it's happening! What? Rosa, finally! I'll be right there! Wait, wh where are you going? The roof! It's happening! They seem too happy for it to be the asteroid. But maybe... True? I'm gonna go check it out. You coming? Obviously. Nope, not a giant space rock. Yeah, but what is it? I created a new species. The Rosa Fern, no. Ferntasma, no. Fern and up. Sick fern, dude. Uh. Feel the fern. Fernando? Yes! Living fern! Mmm. Copernicus. Phenomenon. <clears throat> Weird fern. I know. It's not for looks, but just to show colleges that I know about grafting and interspecies selective cell regeneration. We learned about this because I was looking into plants for Mango's tank. See? This part down here is the rootstock, and this is the scion. This particular rootstock is famously resistant to velvet worms who will, ordinarily, eat the shit out of almost any plant like the adorable monsters they are. So, take that rootstock and add a vulnerable plant to scion and BOOM! Bug-proof leaves, baby! Okay, okay, so, should it be called... Mango Fern? Mango Fern! Nice. Um, 
I'm really excited for Battle of the Bands. It's gonna be great. Set. Me too. And LNL tonight, right? What are we gonna do about Kef? I guess I'll just have to marry him. Never. Hmm. Officiating an LNL wedding would be cool. But Kef would still totally kill you. <gasps> My guitar! Oh, I left it in the music room. See you tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna go too. That plant thing is freaking me out. I know I'm biased, but you're my favorite band in the battle. Like, hands down. Thanks. That's, um... That's really cool of you to say. I know things are gonna work out for your music, Fang. You've got something really special. Yeah. And your plant is... A crime against nature. I mean, completely. But... <laughs> It actually looks kind of awesome, so get ready. Bright future, big dreams, everything Roberts is always talking about. You know, I'm gonna stay up here. Oh, are you? I think Coach Connor actually appreciates it when I skip PE. See you at LNL. See ya. Hey, what did I miss? Can I talk to you for a sec? So, remember that entomology program I was talking about? That's it. That's my plan. I mean, I know, I just did tendrils and just got mango, but I've been thinking about how we were always kind of into worms and stuff, even as kids. We had that comic, we named our band Worm Drama, all those weird costumes. My mom still isn't over the dress incident. So <laughs> worth it. Anyway, I think this is what I want to do. Bugs and worms. But like, for a job. Forever. It feels really good when I say it out loud. So, like, what do you think? Um... Yeah, yeah, you seem really happy about it, so that's great. I can totally see you as a bug doctor or whatever. Yeah, bugologist. Anyway, you know how Rosa made that whole plant thing for college applications? Turns out you pretty much have to do something big like that to even get noticed by most schools. I'm working on this way to restore velvet worm habitats by turning trash into food for them, but it's going to take a lot of hours with mango and about a dozen different types of compost heaps to check all the variables and allow time for propagation, and... I think I need a break from the band for a while. The Battle of the Bands is gonna be my last show. Say something? I just... I can't believe it. <laughs> You will not. Kef is mine. Maybe we can share him? You guys, he's evil. Adventurers, this way, this way. So you're just done? For now. For now. I just want to focus on my future. Well, what about our future? Ah, oi! Ali! You ready to conquer this quest? Hell yes! I'm ready to kick some Praxis butt! Faye, you ready? Join us, Dark One! Yeah, okay. Let's play. All right, everyone have their snacks all set up? Okay, okay. Here we go.
Previously on LNL, the party joined by the newly recovered Dark One struck out into the Crystal Caves in search of Kef, the strikingly handsome leader of the Cult of Braxis. The party decided to hang back and assess the situation. Their plans went awry, and they alerted the cultists. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ritual succeeded. Mm -hmm. The crystal axe of fortitude. Yeah. And... and You've been quiet, Faye. What say you to all this? The Vagrant heads out to the Ocean of Sand, in search of the Lost Temple. The trek will be long and arduous. Okay. Jeff and Linnea begin exploring. Linnea, with your excellent search skill, you notice a small glow coming off a rock. But just... there are... there... how... and what... Yeah, you can... Quick, Sam. At this... everyone... All right. The ceiling of the temple is made of glowing sand, which casts golden light over everything. A large spiral stairway leads down, the sandy steps sparkling and glittering. Set into the wall on the way down are these massive reliefs, murals made of glowing sand. The mural one the final figure sits cross-legged. And as you pass through the threshold, you enter a large open space. The room itself looks to be two stories tall, with four columns distributed around the space. The perimeter of the hall is a curtain of slowly shifting sand. The air in the center as you ah, on each one of them. On what? Do you place your hand? Do you? You talk and slowly sits up. The skeleton. It raises its sword at you. Oh, I know what it says. Everyone, roll initiative. Anaya, skeleton. Skeleton, you get the scent. No. How? And not the skeleton. All right, you're up, Faye. Hmm. The skeleton. The skeleton raises its arm and the gauntlet. Oh. Who is Mammoth? Come on, Faye. Tell us. Are you sh You don the armor. As soon as you do, it constricts suddenly, fusing into your skin. A huge wave of energy bursts outward as everyone but Linnea is knocked off their feet. The sand columns in the room explode outward. You all feel the ground as... You watch it. You all... You are all momentarily blinded, but the sand feels warm around. Burst out of the sand! Hurdling high above the dune. You all retire to your quarters and open them. You cataclysm. 
Something zip, then come to light, then on the horizon, you see the sunrise. Rays of crimson light crawl across the sky. The whole sky is a dazzling red. It's so peaceful. But your gut, when you wake up, in your bed. Um, that was... Reed, dude, what the heck was that last bit? Yeah, that vision you gave Faye was... ominous. Things are reaching their conclusion. Time's almost up. Hey, Trish, can we talk? Sure, but it, it's kind of late, though. Gotta go feed Mango. Sage, walk me home, my cook with the left hook. We'll talk later. Battle of the Bands is gonna be epic. See ya! Good evening. Our top story tonight, the latest on the asteroid scientists are predicting will make a close pass to the planet. Good Officials continue to say there is little danger posed by this once-in-a-generation astrological event, with most projections showing the space rock missing impact by a margin of 20 to 30 percent. But one local amateur astronomer is raising alarm with new self-published trajectories that show a much higher chance of impact from this massive object. funny. It's not the day of a big thing that makes you nervous. It's the day before. Ugh. Get out of my head. How's it going with you? It's going. You? Blech. BOTB tomorrow? Right? Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. I remember, cuz... Well, I could draw your poster from memory. I saw so many of them when I uh, collected them from school. So, effective marketing. 
Ah, huh. funny. Anyway, sorry for being a narc. How's the show prep going? Mm. We are as ready as we'll ever be, I guess. I just keep thinking of everything that could go wrong. Like breaking a guitar string. Well, I wasn't until you said that. No, I mean, like the part where we have to get in front of a bunch of people and not suck. Oh. And what if you do? I'd probably die. I get like this sometimes. I think everybody does. I got an idea. We do this sometimes in drama to work out stage fright. I am not doing a trust fall. No, not that. Just focus on your breathing. Now, put your hands on your hips, like your Captain Triassic. Come on, a real power stance, like this. Feet apart, really grounded. Hands on hips, put your back into it, head up, like the whole breath, and you're winning this thing. Now, you won. Why did you win? I guess... Best friends make the best bandmates. Huh. Hey! Thanks, bro. I can do this. Confidence restored. my best friend. We've talked about stuff before. And I know what I want to say. I just have to actually say it. Listen, Trish. day, right? I can't believe the sky could be hiding. Sorry, I've had a lot of coffee. I get free beans at Lava Java. I should stop talking. Yeah, you totally go into a caffeine fugue state. So, I'm sure. Anything for a friend, right? I'm glad you're wired, Rosa. I barely slept last night. Mango keep you up with her chewing. I've gotten used to that. <laughs> no, just life. Hey, did I tell you Dad's out of town again? Anyway, it's been a lot. Between studying and practicing and momming. I know, but I think it's great you decided to stick it out to the battle. You kept saying you wanted to go out with a bang, and now you get to. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah. The battle's gonna be great. But it's, it's just the beginning. I mean, for worm drama. Yeah, totally! I know I'm leading for a while, but it's gonna be okay. Chop a worm in half and you get two worms. I mean, that's us. Two halves of the same worm just reeling along, doing our wormy things. It's gonna be totally fine. Hmm. Hey, uh, whatever happened to that person who was texting you? Oh yeah, your mystery missives. Um. We actually get along. It's kind of wild. <laughs> Keep us posted. 
I'm so curious. I better grab my books. <laughs> See you later. So, I kind of thought you wanted to talk when you texted me. Yeah, I did. I do. Always. Everything's nuts right now, but I don't want that to mean we don't hang out. Right. Just you and me. And Rosa. Uh, yeah, that was an accident. Rosa's really great, though. Promise. She likes you. She's cool, but, um... Could we make some time for just the two of us, though? Heck yeah! Anytime you want! Well, not any anytime, but y you know what I mean. Okay. So, ritual tonight? Uh, I gotta babysit tonight. Right. Well, maybe we can do it the day of the show? I, I guess that could work. <laughs> well, see you tomorrow, I guess? <laughs> of course. See ya. Nasser? Hey, Sib. I'm working late on yearbook stuff with Naomi. Nice pick, by the way. There's some sesame noodles in the fridge for you. Just heat them up with a little oil. Mom and Dad are calling. Right now? Yep, come on. <sighs> They're coming right now. Hello? Text me. There you are. It's good to see you. Nasrat said you've been working a lot. Is that why you look so tired? I guess. Band stuff. Listen. That early? It's all this news about the meteor. Asteroid. What's the... Doesn't matter. Same impact. Very funny, Nasser. Hey. What? What are you doing? Oh. It's... it's nothing. Their band made it into this huge music competition. Only a few acts made it this far, and it would be huge if they won. Like, career in music huge. Interesting. I never had a talent for music. I tried, in college, you know? I remember. Unfortunately for me. So, what? You win money or something? Not exactly. The winner plays Caldera Fest. Y you know, that big show that happens every year? The one that you say brings too many people into town? Mm-hmm. Who else will be there? Patricia? I like her. You should invite her for supper when we get back. Don't forget, hmm? I don't want to come home to a house that looks like a robbery happened. Fatma, you especially. Be good. You especially. Ha <laughs> ha. Laugh it up, funny guy. Guess I shouldn't tell them I'm releasing a comedy album. Ha! <laughs> I've been a bad influence on you. Well, I guess the age of freedom has come to an end. 
Honestly, I was starting to miss them. This is the last of the gear. You nervous? I hope I don't jinx it, but yeah. You're gonna kill it. Good luck. See you there? Yeah, see ya. Wait. Seriously? Just one second. Huh? You packed me a lunch? More like an early dinner. Thanks, Dad. You gotta have something in your stomach to puke out from all the nerves. Now, good luck. Hello, hello. Yo. Hello, dearest lead singer. So, I know. I mean, we could completely bomb. We should have practiced more. L let's go over- Fang, bro, dude, you got this. You got this. We're in, like, LJ likes us, and honestly, we rule. Which I'm personally excited about. Um, you mean the Shady Palms retirement community from which we are banned for life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still think that was one of our best shows. Oh, yeah, it was. Lucky nobody died. See? We've been touching people's lives with our music for years. Just think, when we started, you and I are basically the same height. Now look at us. <laughs> We're like actual complete people now. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I can play way more than four bar chords. I can play all the chords. And you... You've become, like, this musical wizard. Dark Mage. And you are also here. Yep. Seriously. <laughs> you guys are in all my best memories. Yeah. I know. Man. It's really happening. Yeah. It's the end for now. I'm glad you're in all my memories, too. I suddenly feel extremely cool and capable. Mm, yep. Ooh, this is legit. Never seen so many bards in one place before. Hey, rock stars! Is this wild or what? I finally get to see worm drama in its natural habitat. Even got some VIPs waiting for a meet and greet before sound check. Sure you want to be here for this? It's pretty boring. This is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Don't worry, you guys have got this. Seriously. First of all, you look incredible. Second of all, I think they picked the winner based on how loud the audience is. And I drank hot tea all day so I can cheer extra loud all night. Seriously, we've been scoping out the competition and you really don't have anything to worry about. Well, <laughs> crisis averted. I believe in you. There's a ton of bands here, but none of them are THE worm drama. <laughs> Thanks. Gotta support my worms. Huh. Well, this worm should probably go warm up, so... Wanna draw a card? 
See how it'll go? Can you guarantee a good omen? No, no can't do. I promised a witch I wouldn't touch tarot cards for five more years. Okay... Then you're up, Vang. Can't hurt, I guess. Well, this happens. But it's actually good, right? That's what you were gonna say. Please? Well, kinda. I mean, something is definitely going to die. Or end. We're gonna murder the swamp babies! Ahaha! <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. You were born for this, Trish. Vanquish our enemies. I mean, it all sounds like whatever happens, you'll be okay with it. 100%. I get how it seems scary, but the card is really talking about how ready you are for something good. Oh, hey! Naomi! You think she's okay? She's giving off a lot of worried librarian energy right now. Naomi! She'll be fine. We've got to go. See y'all from the stage, baby! No worm drama! Look at them. Seriously, why are they so popular? I hate to say it, but they know how to play. Fang? It's true. They're like, technically good. I mean, not good good, but, you know. Catchy hooks, watered down alt boy aesthetic. Yeah. People eat that shit up. Oh shit, oh shit! It's happening! E of the bees, it's drama clock! Uh, uh, why are my fingers so slippery? Wait, what's a guitar? <laughs> what is music, really? Like, when you stop to think about it. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh shit! Wait, what's happening? Worm drama, right? That's right. Wanna fight about it? Uh, not really. Anyway, yeah, nice. My little cousin said your posters were up all over the high school. It's awesome that LJ lets kids compete. Kids? Teens? Teens? We are in fact teens, Trish. You're Fang? Um, yes. LJ says you have a pretty sick voice. We've been playing around with something, like, really different for backup vocals on our new stuff. Maybe you should come down to the studio sometime. Could be good exposure, you know? Ha. <laughs> We're good. Thanks. Yeah. Super good. Well, <laughs> think about it. We had 80,000 lessons last month. Probably gonna tour again soon. Oh, and hey. Looks like we're on right before you. Good luck out there. Yeah, you have fun. Nice one, T. Those dudes truly suck. Could be good for exposure. <laughs> Buzz off, dick. Yeah, gross. Now we have to win. Even harder than we were already going to. Cheers to that. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. We're gonna win and we're gonna play Caldera Fest. And we're gonna get like a billion listens. Take that, Trant. Okay, this is it.
band meeting. Huh? Now? Yeah. I just want to say. I'm in the best band in the world. Who? Us? Definitely. What's going on? The power went out. Oh god. Do you think it's the meteor? Probably. But this place is also like a million years old. Hey! Can I get some power to my amp over here? I kind of feel bad for them. And we're up. You good? You're good. We are good. We're good. Next up, a young band who really impressed me this year. They've got talent, they've got style, they've got two guitars. Welcome, newcomers to the battle, Warren Brothers. Fuck it. Thank you. 